Christine mm -hmm. Duarte, Under Secretary, uh, uh, Deputy Executive Director, I mean, uh, Anand Morsi, uh, Distinguished Delegate Representative. Uh, also, let me acknowledge and really praise the joint effort that had led to this session today, led by ECA in collaboration with other CCA agencies, uh, UNDESA. Uh, we have, uh, I mean, uh, UN Habitat, the African Union, and as mentioned by Christine in her address, 17 is very important in terms of building partnership, and we need to really look how we can bring our effort jointly uh, to promote but also accelerate the implementation of the DG in Africa. Uh, I think one element has been said already uh, by my predecessor on the context within which we are navigating, which has pulled back Africa in achieving in the trajectory of implementation of SDGs. Uh, we have talked the impact of the global crisis on Africa when it comes to food, fuel and others, but and also we have the issue of climate change, which has been overwhelming. And we have seen this how much, you know, many countries in Africa has been damaged. And uh, we cannot evaluate right now even the damage from this climate change, why we have all those COP going on. Another factor of challenges as well, you should not ignore peace and stability. Uh, which has leading displacement of population and also vulnerability and uh, uh, weakness of our economy system. We see what happened in the uh, in the Sahel regions, in the Horn of Africa, in Central Africa, is quite worrying. And this is something that uh, well, you know, is pulling back, you know, our effort on achieving sustainable development goal. In addition, other factor that we have mentioned here in terms of access to data and financing. Uh, but what is good is that today, as mentioned by Hanan, I mean, we are in a turning point for Africa uh, in the way that we are pursuing the trajectory of the SDGs. And we give an opportunity in a sense that uh, many African countries have made a lot of effort for the implementation of the SDG, but also for the localization and many principles, which is given, you know, a number of food for thought, but also an opportunity to catalyze you know, this action and uh, guided coordinated strategy across level and sectors for the implementation of the SDG and the integration of local needs and priority into national, regional, and global development policy and process. But I would like to, to, to touch base on something which is very important when it comes about uh, you know, localization of the SDGs, with the process of urbanization in Africa. The UN Habitat uh, is really you know, engaged on this because we know that Africa is one of the most rapidly urbanized you know, continent in the world uh, with a rate of going for, for a country to another 4 to 5 percent. Of course, there is a, uh, a lot of challenges coming with urbanization. We talk about inequalities. We talk about people living in slums, informal settlement. We talk about uh, social blanket and others. But at the same time, this uh, urbanization is offering an opportunity for Africa to innovate, but also to bring uh, food for thought in terms of planning, uh, in terms of designing and managing our cities. If we know that cities are uh, contributing 60% of the GDP in Africa, uh, which is justifying as was relevant for African cities of really localizing but also reporting on the implementation of the SDGs. As I mentioned, it, despite the challenges, we have seen a lot of progress, and Africa is taking action to make sustainable urbanization and local development a pillar of African development strategy. And this has been encored strongly in the Vision 2063, in the transformative vision of Africa, to link cities as a driver for economic transformation, but also for unlocking the potential of investment uh, in Africa. Today, we have seen the movement of a voluntary local review. Uh, globally speaking, we can talk about 200 review process have been undertaken, globally speaking. Uh, which is demonstrating as well, you know, the commitment of cities and other local government in contributing uh, to this uh, trajectory of localization of the SDGs. So in terms of statistics, uh, I think Hanan has talked about it. We have 53 African VNRs uh, have already presented, and this year we'll have seven countries are going to present their VNR, including Rwanda, as mentioned by the RC here in the room. We have 11 local government who develop voluntary local review, and other force are being undertaken uh, in different countries like Ghana, Gambia, Kenya, and Tanzania. This real will be finalized before the end of the year. But also we have nine African countries who develop voluntary subnational review uh, promoted by National and Regional Association of Local Government uh, to report on the status of SDGs localization visit country. We talk about UCLG Africa who is promoting on that. Uh, for us, as UN Habitat, something very important, as I mentioned earlier, is a partnership. We talk about it, 
Uh, we cannot do it alone. We need to come together because there's scarcity of resources. Uh, there's the skills we need to fill and others, which will mean that uh, we need to salute and appreciate the partnership we have been developing UNECA, uh, UCLG Africa on the development of the volunteer on the guideline for Africa, which is being rolled out uh, through the capacity development, but also through the assistance to many cities. We have also a joint program funded by Development Account on rolling out, uh, you know, this uh, guideline in more cities in Africa. And recently, jointly, UN Habitat and UNDP launched what we call a Local 2030 Initiative, which is a way of accelerating the localization of the SDG, globally speaking. But of course, Africa will have a key role to play. And recently, we have seen as well new development at the level of the African Union uh, with the recognition of the need to have Africa Forum, Africa Urban Forum will be an opportunity as well uh, to bring a continental uh, you know, momentum around this uh, without ignoring as well all the work we are doing in the African Union uh, on this issue of urban resilience. Uh, moving forward, what is important, I think we have an upcoming event uh, in 2023, it will be another opportunity to reflect, but most importantly to measure progress on this implementation of the SDGs. Uh, first of all, we'll have the UN Habitat Assembly in June in Nairobi, and the topic this year will be uh, multilateralism and implementation and localization of the SDGs. Uh, as you may know it, my executive director has put priority SDG localization in her compact and it will be an opportunity uh, to talk about multilateral governance from one uh, of the key uh, topic of discussion during this Habitat Assembly. We'll have as well the high level political forum and SDG 11 will be under review this year and UN Habitat is leading on that and will be an opportunity as well to take progress and also to, I think tomorrow and the day after we'll have a discussion on measuring progress on the goal 11 as its goal will be an opportunity to reflect on challenges, opportunity, but also progress uh, on this uh, voluntary review. Uh, in the high level political forum, it's a plan as well to have a local and regional government forum, uh, which will be uh, given, you know, local authorities to interact with others. So those are some elements I, I would like to share with you, and we look forward to working together towards the important event and to future progress being made in Africa in achieving the SDG and Agenda 2063, and which all of you full full deliberation for this week. Thank you very much, Jean Paul. Merci beaucoup, Uma. Alors, je vais faire la synthèse très rapidement de vos propos. Il a exprimé tous ses remerciements à tous les partenaires. La CEA, DESA et tous les autres partenaires sur euh, 